everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Daily's 2A News. Today we're going to take a break from all the depressing Second Amendment news that's going on around the country, and I'm going to try and help you determine whether or not you're a FUD. Number one, if you've ever heard a bump in the night, so you went to your safe, unlocked it, grabbed the key for your trigger lock, unlocked that, and loaded one round of 30-odd six to see what the problem was, you might be a FUD. Number two, if you watched Joe Biden's interview where he recommended shooting two blasts into the air and you thought, that sounds like a good idea, you might be a FUD. Number three, if you open carry a 1911 and a leather holster that has no retention and you think a 45 is the best caliber ever made because it won two wars and they don't make a 46, then you might be a FUD. Number four, if you own a double barrel shotgun and the only other firearm that's in your house is a picture of Charlton Heston holding up his firearm next to a plaque of your original NRA membership card, then you might be a FUD. Number five, if you've ever talked to somebody about magazine capacity limitations and you said if you can't hit your target in 10 rounds then you should probably go back to the range, you might be a FUD. Number six, if you're Wayne LaPierre, you get the rest. Number seven, if the only firearm you own is your daddy's old lever action and you always voted for gun control because they're really not trying to take away your firearms and you heard that it was too easy to get one of those weapons of war, but then the pandemic started so you decided that hey, maybe I need one and you went down and found out that it was harder than you really thought it was, so you didn't get one, you might be a FUD. Number eight, if you've ever sold all your firearms because your new wife or girlfriend thought they were dangerous, you might be a FUD, but you're definitely a... Number nine, if you've ever used the term who needs when referring to firearms, you're definitely a FUD. Number 10, if you've ever stood in front of a camera before with your single shot break action while simultaneously making a video for Moms Demand Action, using that single shot break action as qualification that you support the Second Amendment, but also reasonable regulations, oh, you're definitely a FUD. Now, obviously, it's just supposed to be a fun video. I'm just kind of poking at a specific group here, but to be honest with you, that specific group that we call FUDs is actually dangerous to the Second Amendment, and that's because they feel that pretty much anything that was created after 1918 should be highly regulated. Uh, they don't think that their bolt actions and their brake actions and their lever actions should see any legislation whatsoever because it's been around for so long, but anything that's new after a specific point, in whichever point they determine, uh, they'll go ahead and they'll vote for just about any after that and they'll use the fact that they're a gun owner in order to justify their action well I believe in the Second Amendment well I'm a gun owner myself but you know those people shouldn't have those types of things there's just not a need for those types of things and so they'll go right to the ballot box and they'll they'll vote for it and so you know they're dangerous because they only see the Second Amendment as covering those older style firearms anything that's new is just got to be bad to them so again it, it is kind of poking fun but at a group that actually can be dangerous to our second amendment rights so try and uh, keep that in mind you know anyway i want to thank you all very much for watching please like subscribe and have a great day